All right, guys. Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh. My name is Raven from the Sky, and let's continue. Strict. Oh, I had replaced this guy. I mean, I replaced Maid Above with this guy, and I didn't realize he was a five star. I'm just, I'm just throwing him in the deck because, like, well, he can destroy two. I might just put, I'll put Manny the Bug back. I'll put three Manny the Bugs on like one of him or two. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But right now, this is kind of bricky. All right. You guys know what type of deck this is or who, whose deck I'm using if you're a long time Yu-Gi-Oh fan. I, of course, I did make some modifications to, as always, to try to make it somewhat competitive. Because if you use it stock, for the most part, you're going to get washed. I'm telling you. All people do, well, I'm, it's not all they do, but most of the time, you're going to run into meta decks. Monarchs, Blue Eyes, DDDs. I didn't think they were meta, but they are. But I don't care. I still love them. That would be one of my favorite meta decks. They're currently not meta, but at the time when this game came out, they were. And when they were released in this game, they were meta. This performer pile, performer pile, performer pile trick clown, perform, performer pile pendulum magicians, performer pile shoot. Everything dealing with performer piles is meta in this game. Cyber Dragons, shoot, Galaxy, uh, um, what is that, oh my god, what is that, on the tip of my tongue, the spaceships, ah, uh, freaking, ah, uh, Emperor used them, your face online, Oh, my guys, it's freaking insect night. So I mean, see how bricky this is? I gotta change this. We're getting lucky right now. I didn't. Oh my god, how could I miss that? Yeah, I'm gonna put Manny the Bug back in, and I might keep one. Oh god, I thought he was level 4. But then he'd be kinda OP. People would probably be using him today. He was level 4. Destro Flip destroy 2? Show. I think Manny the Bug was super rare when it came out. Or oh, a repent, but um, I remember um, facing somebody who had a super rare version of Manny the Bug. Sometimes things would get re released in those tournament packs, and then they'll be like. Uh, Super rare, ultra rare when the regular version is common, but because they're in that pack or that uh, tin, they're a special foil like Jinzo. <clears throat> Jinzo, um, and then I had a uh, what's his name, Slate Warrior. He was like a foil a parallel ray or something. Like that. Forgot what they called it. I think Jinzo first. I think Jinzo was either ultra or secret rare. Because his effect was so good. Wasn't nothing out to stop traps completely. And he was... That's, this is back in the original Yu-Gi-Oh days. Now, he was a, that was good. 2400, that was a good attack. Like at the end. Like mid-end of... of, of uh, I think you... No. I think it was 2004. Jinzo? Late 2003, early 04. Jinzo. Give me, it's, it's been a long time. 32 now. Jinzo came out. I was 16 years old. That's a long ago and far away. Spell books with performer pals? Interesting.
And no, I haven't gotten Link uh, Summon. Or Link, whatever it's called. This version, to me, it's just this game with v rings thrown in it. For the price, that's not enough. Plus now, the new series is out. I think it's, it, it's out if it, or it's getting ready to come out if it hasn't been out already. I pre-recorded a lot of my videos. At the time of this recording, it hasn't been released yet. Let's see. I feel like it. That's that's heck of bricky. Not a tribute. I think that great moth. I think was super super or ultra. Or both. Sometimes it's both. You got him out of that. Remember, if you came out of structure deck. I remember they had a wind structure deck. Rock structure deck. They had fire deck. I remember that. Of course, you can Kai. You can Kaiba's deck. You get those just to get, you know, like you got Moss Reborn and stuff like that. I remember, because I would buy the structure decks. I had like five or six Moss Reborns at one point because it had gotten banned and was, and it had been banned for so long. I even had the holographic version. I ended up getting rid of them because I didn't think they'd ever see the light of day again. Because even back then, the special summoning was uh, was getting to be like easy now. You know, you didn't really have to rely on Moss Reborn. It was just over. It was just OP at that point, so they ended up banning it. <clears throat> Didn't bother us now because you could use your monster's effects to special summon and stuff like that. Like I said back then, it became more apparent than just relying on Monster Reborn to come up to reborn, special summon your monsters. For combos, they banned it, and it was been banned for a long time, even back then. And I ended up trading it off. I think, trading off, I, think I sold the holographic one because ain't nobody really going to buy it. It'll come in Monster Reborn, but now, you know, for people selling on eBay and Amazon and things like that, I'm, I'm sure if you throw it in with a bundle, of course they'll buy it. But by itself, I don't think they're going to buy it. Unless it's, uh, I'm sorry, they'll buy it, but it'll be like a dollar or less. Common Monster Reborn, I know it ain't worth over a dollar. That's what I meant, like you're not really going to make much. Spellbook of Power. 27, 22. 22 again. I'm gonna destroy this. Can't he destroy something? Oh shoot. How much damage is he gonna do? Oh! That was nice. Guys, thanks for watching. My name is Ray from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series to grow. Ring that bell so you don't miss enough.